What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. My name is Sharky. I hope I find you really well. So this is the final Premier League match preview for Newcastle for the season. Newcastle United take on Fulham at Craven Cottage this Sunday. It's a three o'clock kickoff. And just before I talk about the preview, I just want to say a massive congratulations to Solomon Rondon, who has been voted Newcastle United's player of the season for 2018-2019. And I have to say it's fully deserved. The lad has been on fire this season. This is a lad who got relegated last season with West Brom. You know, they finished rock bottom of the Premier League. The squad wasn't really up to scratch. And when you've been relegated, his confidence would have been so low on the ground, it's untrue. And he would have been questioning himself whether or not he's good enough to play in the Premier League. And you know what? I have to say, fair play to Rafa Benitez and to the football club for giving Rondon that chance to know that he is good enough to play in the Premier League. And he's shown that this season... He scored over 11 goals in all competitions for Newcastle United. He has scored some valuable goals for Newcastle this season. And I'm not saying his goals have single-handedly kept Newcastle United up because Perez has also chipped in with the same amount of goals for Newcastle this season. And you know what? Rondon could still claim top goal scorer for Newcastle United. You know, against Fulham on Sunday, if he score a couple of goals, he'll be battling it out with Ayuso Perez. But what I'm trying to say is I hope now that Newcastle United do take up the option to buy Solomon Rondon because he is a key player for us. He's a player that he loves the club, he loves the city, he loves the fans and he's given it absolutely everything for Newcastle United. He has taken the number nine shirt you know, with pride. He has not crumbled under any pressure and he's you know, been happy to play for Newcastle United this season and he's really, you know, bought into what Rafa Benitez wants at the football club, the formation that he plays, and his attitude has been second to none in every game that he's played. He's never shirked when things have gone wrong. He's always stayed positive, and he's always went on to say that you know, he loves the club, he loves the fans, he loves the city, and all of that stuff. He's settled here in Newcastle, his family's settled in Newcastle, and he doesn't really want to leave, but if he has to leave, it's because the club you know, have a policy where they don't want to send anybody over the age of 30. Which I don't agree with, you know, I think Rondon is one of our better players. We need to keep our better players, you know, for the new season. We want to build. Of course, he's got a good relationship with Perez and Almiron. Of course, we might lose Perez at the end of the season. He has been linked uh, with some big clubs over the summer. He's been on form this season. And it would be a shame if we were to lose Perez because we're sort of losing that bond that Rondon has, you know, with, you know, those two key players. Of course, he, he mixes in well with the whole squad. But there's going to be a lot of change at Newcastle United. But I just hope... You know that we can sign him. I know West Brom wants something like twelve to sixteen million pounds for him. I will get him at the end of the day. You know he's experienced, and that's what we want. You know, we want to be able to kick on for the new season, and we want to be able to get the the players in a lot quicker. And then we'll have done, and we want to show, you know, to the league that we have got ambition. You know, we need a little bit more ambition from the owner, but there we go. Hopefully, Rondon stays. Anyway, let's move on to the preview. So, looking at the Premier League table, we go into this game currently sitting fourteenth in the Premier League. If we win the game. And results go our way, we can go 13th, we can't go any higher than that. If we draw the game or lose the game, then we could stay 14th. So it, it's it been an OK season for us, you know, average. I mean, we're not expected to finish any higher than we did last season because we don't really have any you know, ambition in terms of you know buying better players and improving on the season after. Fulham are currently 19th in the Premier League, they're relegated. They got relegated about a month and a half ago. And it just hasn't really been their season. Now, if you look at Fulham, you know, this season they got promoted from the championship and they spent a lot of money on so-called big names and it's been proven this season that if you don't get it right and you spend a lot of money it doesn't always guarantee your success and with Fulham that has been proved the players haven't gelled they've gone through a couple of managers this season and it just hasn't worked out for Fulham from one way or another and you know with them being relegated about a month and a half ago you know if you look at the form Obviously, they lost 1-0 to Wolves, which, to be fair, Wolves are going for the top seven, but, you know, they only lost by the odd goal. You know, Scott Parker stepped in, and Fulham, before that, won three games on the bounce after being confirmed relegated. Now, if I was a Fulham fan, I would be absolutely cheesed off with that because, you know, they've come in and they've wanted to say that team try to try and find a formula to try and, you know, kick on and try and stabilise themselves in the Premier League for the next few seasons to come. Of course, it hasn't worked out for them. They're going to be getting relegated to the Championship and they will want to be, you know, promoted back to the first time of asking next season. But to see them, you know, win games after being relegated, they'll be questioning the squad why couldn't have done that before that, you know, the relegation was confirmed. 
players to watch out for on the Fulham side, you'd have to say ex-Magpie Alexander Mitrovic. He's been okay this season. He hasn't been the best. You question whether or not Mitrovic is a Premier League forward. I don't think he is personally. I think he's Championship standard. He proved that you know, with Newcastle us and he proved that with Fulham last season. But he just hasn't really done it in the Premier League for me. He doesn't score enough goals. And he'll argue, you know, does he get the service? He probably hasn't because Fulham haven't gelled this season. Of course, Ikanovic and Ranieri will be wondering or asking, you know, why that didn't happen. Now, in terms of Mitrovic, you know, he's strong in the air. He's powerful. We all know that. You know, from a set piece, he'll score nine times out of ten with his head. He's very strong in keeping a hold of the ball. You know, he likes service, you know, from the midfield. If someone can pass him a ball across the box, you know, he'll shoot. He's got a good uh, good foot on him. And then you also look at Tom Kearney as well, who's just signed the new contract. We'll know him from two years ago. We'll know that he's a good player. You know, he's somebody who I would have taken at Newcastle this season to replace Mo Diorme, Shelby Hayden, who, you know, who could be exiting the tune. Uh, this summer ideal because he likes to get the ball forward from the midfield he likes to you know create opportunities he likes to you know have a go he likes to cause problems to the defense and he would have been ideal you know going forward but fair play to him you know he's 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 sticking around with fulham you know when they've been relegated he could easily you know jump into any premier league uh, squad because he's he's got that ability uh also ryan babble you know ex liverpool player he come in in this january just wasn't enough you know the bottom to see if you could try and keep Fulham in the premier league it just hasn't happened he'll probably be on his way out in the summer but he did score an absolute worldy you know against Cardiff a few weeks ago so you've got to be careful and monitor Babel you know any every occasion possible in terms of Newcastle United you know we come off the back of a 3-2 defeat against Liverpool I thought we were lucky in the game you know three sloppy goals to concede from our point of view um you know we should at least got a draw out of the game but it's all ifs and buts you know a free kick which costs win the end for Liverpool's winning goal in my opinion it was never a free kick but you know, we never get any decisions by the, the referees or linesmen, so, you know, it's Newcastle United, we'll never get anything. But we'll give it absolutely everything in the game, and we scored two very good goals, and the confidence, you know, we'll still be sky high going into the Fulham game, you know, we've got nothing to lose, we're safe, you know, we're just playing for pride now, but if we play anything like we did against Liverpool, against Fulham, I believe that we've got every chance of getting something on Saturday, because Fulham, yes, they'll also be wanting to end on a high, but we'll also be wanting to make sure that we end the season on a high two. And Fulham will also be creating problems to us while we also will be creating problems for them. So it should be an interesting game on Sunday. I wouldn't be surprised if the game ends a draw, which would still be a good point for us. And it's something to build on you know, for next season. Of course, a lot of players will need to try on Sunday because they will be playing for their futures because not everybody is guaranteed to be playing in that black and white shirt next season. Of course, sing your heart out for Rafa Benitez. This might be his last game as a Newcastle United manager. We'll wait and see on that. And let's just hope, you know, that we get a positive result. That's all you can hope. I'll keep the same team that played against Liverpool, despite we're getting beat. Of course, the main people that are going to be out for Newcastle United are going to be Almiron. <laughs> I was trying to say Almiron and Lejeune. But at the end of the day, you know, we've just got to go there and give it 100% down at Fulham. Anyway, that's just been the preview for the game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I'll be happy with that. Leave me your score predictions down below in the comments. Also, if you're new to the channel, please go along and subscribe. Help us to get 1,800 subscribers. There's going to be more content next season. Of course, there's going to be a review on Sunday. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my social media. On Instagram, it's 100% NUFC. And on Twitter, my uh, name has changed from Sharky, 100% NUFC. So go and follow me on that. I want to try and push uh, the social media as well as the channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the game if you're going. Safe journey. How are you, the lads?